region of the Indonesia Open. Well, our next final is men's singles, and it features Victor Axelson, the Olympic champion and defending champion at the Indonesia Open in his eighth consecutive Super 1000 tournament final. He's up against the unseeded Zhao Junpeng of China, who's in his first ever World Tour tournament final. Well, when we look at the men's singles draw from the quarterfinal stage, seven different nationalities. Last week we had eight, but this week we had two Danes. It looked very top-heavy, the draw, because in the top half of the quarterfinal stage, we had the reigning Olympic champion, the reigning world champion, and the reigning Asian champion, plus the Olympic bronze medal medalist, Anthony Ginting. So uh, just two seeds uh, left in by semi-final stage. And obviously, with no seeds in the bottom half of the draw at the quarterfinal stage, both those seeds were in the top half. The uh, semi-final in the top half was an absolute thriller, as you can see, 23-21. Well, when we look at the uh, World Tour rankings and the race to the World Tour finals, that how, is how it is at the moment. But after this week in Jakarta, Victor Axelsson, whether he wins or loses today's final, will go up to number one. Elise Jart will remain at three. Pranoy, after his semi-final, he will go up a couple of places, overtake Kidambi and go to number four. Jia Chung Peng isn't on that list at all. He's down at 18 at the moment. But after this week, he will come into the top ten at number eight. Now we present to you Please welcome Victor Axelsen. Victor Axelsen. It is the most magnificent achievement. The fact that today here in Jakarta he is contesting an eighth consecutive Super One Thousand tournament final. It's in fact his 10th final at Super 1000 level and this is only the 14th Super 1000 tournament since the inception of the World Tour. That is the most astonishing record. Comparing it to tennis, Roger Federer made 10 fi consecutive finals and at Grand Slam events. Novak Djokovic, 6. Rafa Nadal, 5. So when you compare From it, China. you realise what a monumental achievement this is for Victor Axelsen. But this is a huge step forward as far as this man is concerned. Xiao Jun Peng. It is his first ever final at World Tour level. And it happens to be at Super 1000 level. In fact, it's his first final for five years, five months since he was beaten in the final of the China International Challenger event way back in 2017. To say this is a leap forward for the left-hander from China is somewhat of an understatement. Well, this will be a sixth meeting between these two players. And of the previous five, Victor Axelsson has won four of them, including the last two. The last time they met was the 2020 Indonesian Masters quarterfinal stage. And it did go to three games. It's the only time it's gone to three games when these two have met. 21-7 in the deciding game. And once again, Steen, I missed it. Who won the toss? It's Axelsson won the... Uh Point toss and elected to start on the near side. Thank you. Well, the fans enjoying every minute of these finals. It's been great to see such a packed house. Uh, we feared that after the home interest evaporated at corner finals day. And for the first time ever, there was no home interest 
on semi-finals day at the Indonesia Open, we feared that maybe the fans wouldn't come out in force, but they certainly have. It really has been a wonderful atmosphere all week. So Victor Axelson, a tenth Super 1000 tournament final, an eighth consecutive, quite remarkable. Two medals at the Olympic Games for the 28-year-old from Onza. And he's enjoying his 80th week in total as world number one. Former world champion as well, his gold medal in Glasgow in 2017, having won a bronze in 2014. Now, his uh, matches to get through to today's final, well, it absolutely thrashed. Sunyama, who won the French Open last year in the first round, and then Lu Guangzhou of China, then the quarter-final against the Olympic bronze medalist, and then the semi-final against the Asia champion. And he was 2016 up in the deciding game, was Victor Axelsson in the semi-final, and then faced a match point at 2021 down, but managed to close it out on his fifth match point opportunity. Xiao Chung Peng, the left-hander, is 26 from Nangchang in Jiangxi province, landlocked province in southeast China. 35 on the world ranking at the moment, fourth Chinese pair on the current world rankings, but has been as high as 30. Ready to play. And he's making his first appearance at the Indonesia Open. And looking at his matches, will he beat the Asian Games gold medalist Jonathan Christie in three games in the second round? the only seed that he's played on his way to the final. Lee Chuck Yu from Hong Kong, China in the quarterfinal. That was three games as well. And then the semi-final against Pranoy from India. So our umpire for this one is Jason Bat from Australia. And our service judge, Robertus Tommy Oscariano from Indonesia. Nice batik shirts for the umpires. Uh, it's a lovely touch, isn't yep. it? Ready? Shoot the collar pellet. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Zhao Jinping, China. And on my left, Victor Axelsen, Denmark. Zhao Jinping to serve, level, play. So the men's singles final, Victor Axelsen, the Olympic champion, nearest to us against the left-handed, unseeded Zhao Jinping. What a good opening rally. Well, Steve, before we go any further, I have to ask you to make comments on so these over, eight consecutive finals at Super 1000 level achieved by Axelson and the fact that, well, Federer did better. Ten consecutive Grand Slam tournament finals, but better than Djokovic and Nadal. I mean, it really does put it into perspective, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, it's an extreme uh, consistency. Wow, look at that. Two love.
Oh, oh my you? goodness. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't know anything no. about that. Didn't even realise he'd hit it. Oh, that was extraordinary. Time to punt. Service over. One, yeah. three. Trying to take his racket away, I think. Yeah. China's not so heralded men's singles to uh, be in the final again. And what we had Li Shifeng in the final with that Thailand. Five one. Open. Uh, 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 Korea Masters Li Shifeng. Single, it seems like Chinese men's single is starting to make a move. Yeah. They've used their lockdown down time well. Yeah, oh, he's challenging that. I have a feeling it may have just been wide. Charging things, charging. Oh, can't tell from there. Uh, good help from the uh, Spanish judge, Tony Ascariano. I don't think Ethan Bat has seen it. Uh, now, I like that, when the court officials help yeah. each other. Yeah. He was, he was called in and he was challenging that it's gone out. The call was in. Yeah. Here we go. And it did caps the line. Good yeah. call, line judge. Correction in. One challenge. Yeah. But he was called in. Yeah. Yeah, he got it right, the umpire. One challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Yeah, I, we all make mistakes. I don't see that uh, as an issue, and seven I think it's absolutely one. wonderful that the... Seven ...court officials help each other yeah, if exactly. mistakes are, are made. We all make mistakes, for goodness sake. Much rather than we see discussions, endless discussions about what was going on and... Uh, yeah. And, and the players having to use energy and, um, and um, emotions to argue a case. And, and make sure that they get the points that yeah. uh, they've scored and so on. So it's, it's much better that there's two people checking that the score Absolutely. is correct Absolutely. than Absolutely. only one. So good teamwork. Missed it. Oh, what a start by Axelson. Left 
to say is a commanding position is stating the obvious. Eleven two the advantage. Did you manage to catch any of that? Uh, not, a, not a word. There's, no. there's simply too much uh, cheering going <laughs> yes. on here in the yeah. store. Well, I could see the Chinese coach. He had a lot of uh, information. Oh, it's challenge here Excellent. from Victor Axelson. Cool goods. He begs to differ. And I guess... Chinese coaching situation is one of those where you call the um, the finals helpline desk and they tell you to push the button where it says advanced settings. And there's Plum on the line. Oh. So both of them, just one challenge left. One challenge remaining. Service yeah. over. Three, I, I don't think Chao Jun Peng has, has started that bad. I mean, it's just access has been good. He's been himself. Yeah. And and Jumpang needs to go to advanced. Good try. Well left. And it looks to me as if Jasmine Punk is already beginning so to run out of ideas because three. Victor Axelson has got so much back that he's feeling he's got to go more and more for the lines. Yeah. Now that's concerning if you're a Chinese fan because it's such early stages. Now it's a wonderful return. Service right over. into the corner. Four, twelve. And probably Axelson is playing his non-preferred side. Yes. Well, he won the title Service last over. week with Axelson. He's already won three titles this year, the All England, the European Championships, and of course last week. Winning two titles in two weeks in Astora Sinayan would be pretty special, wouldn't it? Cruise control at the moment, four. the Olympic champion.
Brennan. in as well. Yeah. It's good to see that we're not the only ones who are a little bit uncertain in terms of the drift here exactly. in the arena. Oh, it touched him. Touched him. Before it landed, surely. Touched his leg. Uh, Six, 16. Noticed. Well... I wouldn't mind seeing that again, but I don't think we will. Oh, my goodness, that suddenly caught the drift and went long. Service over, 17-6. about the time where the finals help desk ask you to uh, turn off and try six. and restart because um, yeah. what you're doing is not really uh, working. Well, it touched him again, didn't it? <laughs> I don't know, but he's living dangerously. Service oh, over. Oh, I do wish we 18. could see it again. Two points away from the opening game. Service over, 19-7. It's gone totally crazy, that one from Axis. Took so long time before it uh, turned the cork downwards. Smashes all the time from that um, backhand side from uh, Jordan Pong. Uh, it's got to put some more variation into it. Oh, clever. Yeah. Well, we saw yesterday, we saw uh, Fukushima here all time. Game point and Taishi Ying being uh, outplayed like this in the first game and coming back to win their matches yesterday in the semi finals. So I guess we shouldn't rule any, out anything. No. By the way Axelson is playing at the moment. And the way he's played the last two matches. Yeah. It seems unlikely. Oh, that's going wide. Oh, my goodness, he's supposed to play it. Way too late. And the opening game to Victor Axelson. First game, 21 won by Victor Axelson. 
21-9. Umpire confirming that scoreline. Look, he's going to leave it. If, I'm sure it was going wide. Suddenly changed his mind. Yeah. Well, just about 17 minutes for the opening game. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, level play. Well, that was nice of the fans. Papa Vega, father to Vega. And Vega and fiance are both here in Jakarta with him. One love. Yeah, and his um, dad-in-law coaching and his mom-in-law also here. Helping, uh, keeping Vega busy when uh, Papa Vega's got to work. Oh, oh you just behind the back. Two love. Hoping a bit of trickery will fool his opponent. Look at that. That's amazing. Overdone it. Was it any easier to hear the coaching? Um, they, they, uh, I heard a little bit. Of, they, they said that uh, now he's got more space uh, and he needs to push a little bit more. So obviously they believe that Victor is playing up against the drift uh, right now. Um, but. Um, they, they want to make sure that he doesn't sort of leave the initiative on the front court to uh, to Jao. Good control there. And I think Four, love. after a couple of days uh, trying to figure out the drift here, um, I'm going to give in and just say that the left-hand corners on both sides are a little bit slower than the opposite uh, right-hand corners seen from uh, our position here. Five love.
hands, well judged. Well, this is... Six, uh, love. I was going to say, becoming a nightmare scenario for Chao Jung Pung. I think that's a, a little steep, yeah. a little harsh. We, we can say that um, had they switched places in the uh, original program, there's a good chance that Axelsen would still have been here, but Zhao probably would have had to go through uh, over one, uh, tougher six. matches to get here. Uh, and the reason that is, we, we have to remember that we are still in COVID times, so to speak. We're playing two tournaments at the same venue um, mm. consecutively, but also the ranking is frozen, and that means that the... the um, the movements they have been in playing strength is not reflected truly by the ranking that is deciding the seeds for the tournaments. Yeah. And and in this tournament here, there has been uh, an overweight of um, strong players in the upper half of the draw, in my opinion. Uh, that's not set to um, take anything away from Zhao Junpeng. Yeah. As, as I mentioned, I, I think he's he's doing what he can, but but at the moment he's not. Um, Service over. Sort of. Uh, Seven. One. A big, big task ahead of him. Thank you. And, and he's played some good rallies where he's just... Today he's playing a, a man who's capable of playing that a little bit better than him so far. And, um, yeah. Got to make the most of it. Good shot. Yeah, that's nicely done. Service over to seven. Jonathan Christie twice here in the uh, score and line. That's also quite good by Jim Punk. Yeah, my, my point was that, you know, on finals day, yeah. if you get completely yeah, outclassed, it's, eight, you know, it, it's like. not embarrassing, but, uh, I mean, you feel... Um, yeah, I suppose you do, as an athlete, feel a little bit embarrassed. If, if you lose very easily in the first round, you know, uh, Sunyama only scored 12 points Nine, against Victor Axelsen, but it's, the spotlight isn't on you. I can tell you, Anas Emsonson, he's hoping that Zhao Junpeng doesn't score any more points because then he's off the hook with that uh, World Championship final against uh, Kento Amorta. Yes, yeah. He's able to, to see the irony and the humor in it and something, but it, it's not so fun standing in there. No. But... Um, Service over. Three, nine. Let's see if he's able to um, up his game, Zhao Junpeng. You don't get through the Chinese selection system without having something um, a little bit extraordinary. That's nice. Yeah. That is a lovely shot from Axelson using the drift to his advantage. Service over. 10-3. But again, good retrieval by Jun Pang. That's retrieval that could uh, rattle a lot of players, even Axelsen, if he was in uh, a little bit lesser form. Okay, Stop going for the winners, not um, being control. patient enough, but um, as of now, total control. And, and the longest rally. 
31 shots that previous rally. Good play. Yeah. yeah. Service over for So if I were to pump, I would try and get a lot of the game going in uh, my own forehand side and see if I could get it a little below the tape. And use the uh, long forehand corner with pressure. And we'll have a while attack to the backhand side. Oh, oh, oh he stayed in. Yeah, I thought he was going long. Five, ten. Brilliant tango from Anderson. Over, 11 and 11-5, the advantage here at the mid-game interval of the second game, having already won the first. Axelson in full flow. He needs to be more stressed up there, and uh, up there, I think he means on the front court. And uh, Victor replies, 11, more five. pace at the net, more speed at the net, Play. or more speed into the net. I couldn't really hear that, but brilliant. And up in apology for hitting his opponent. 12-5. Still wrong. Thirteen five. It has been an impressive level he's uh, displayed over these two weeks, Axelsen. And is he staying out here to go on to the two Malaysian events? I think he is. Yeah, yeah. Over yeah, also six wow. I think Loki Yu has uh, promised to cook for him or something like that. No. How do we get an in yeah. invite? <laughs> you probably can get one, Jill. I think so. Low practicing with axes and in uh, Dubai. Yes, the reigning world champion, of course, Lil Ken Yu. Could have killed one of those shots at the net, Axelson. Service over. Uh, perhaps 14, wasn't as sharp on six. it as I had thought. Yeah, look at the reaction after the rally. Oh, I'm aloft. 31 shots. Well, 
Well, he's enjoying it, Axel, and it's not yeah. more than uh, three years or so since he was on the other side of, uh, okay, thank you. Back on court. <laughs> of this, where Momosa was the dominant horse. Yeah, it was four years ago. Four years ago, that's he, right. Yeah, he lost in the final to Momota. 14 and 9. Yeah. In just 38 minutes. Missed it. Oh, nope. it's all good. It's all good. I'm surprised. 15 6. Oh, it's no challenge. Point advantage. 16 6. taking his uh, foot off the pedal axles and he wants nice. to finish this 17, in uh, six. the best possible way also in terms of giving everything to the audience here. to win back-to-back -back titles at the Indonesian Open was Lee Chong Wei, who actually won three consecutive 2009, 10 and 11, so he won six in total. Oh, he was good at winning here. Those yeah. conditions that suited him. I don't think ever Lin Dan has won here, has he? No. 19-6. No, no Chinese player has won the Indonesian Open for 33 years. Wow. is match point opportunities for Victor Axelson. 20 match point six. Just wide, always Victor challenging. Axelson challenges. <laughs> I hate I win that out. challenge. A flat ending if it's uh, in. Ah, uh, it was out. I'll have my cup of Earl Grey on that. Here we go. Well, wide. There we are. Challenge unsuccessful. The place incredible One world with that man on side. He's got. Excellent. <laughs> Silver, seven. 20 play. So the second match point for Axelson. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice shot from Jackson Punk, but surely too little, too late. 8 20. Yeah. 
10, 20. that after his semi-final victory a seventh super 1000 tournament title a second consecutive indonesia open title a second title in two weeks amazing well to say that he is the best player on the planet right now, I think he's unquestionable. Well, match won by Victor Axelsen, 21-9, He was a class act 10. today. 21-9. Twenty-one nine, twenty-one ten. And now steady there. That's enough, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Where's my sunglasses? Yeah. And a couple of Vega fans get the shirt. The winning shirt. Thirty-eight minutes for the victory. And funnily enough. That is the exact time that was taken when it, Victor Axelsen lost in his first Indonesian Open final against Kento Momota four years ago. But that was emphatic, wasn't it? 21 9, 21 10 here for his second Indonesia Open title. Well, this man continuing to make records, make and break records. Consecutive super, super, uh, super 1000 tournament final. The return of serve. I would love to see the umpire warn him and find him 250 bucks for leaving the court. <laughs> <laughs> well, remarkable that this man is in. Yeah. We had the match between the two best players in the tournament yesterday. In yeah. my opinion, that was a brilliant fight. Against Lee C. Shah. Yeah. And we were discussing it at breakfast. You were saying that Axelson and Lee C. Shah, in your opinion, are the best two players in the world at the moment. I think so. Well done, Daddy. Yes, look, we're on the television. Zhao <laughs> Junhong yeah, played his final yesterday against yeah. Hanoi. That was a good win for him, in my opinion. Did his best here, but um, not close. Zhao Junhong, China. Zhao Junpang in his first ever World Tour Tournament final. And the winner, Victor Axelsen, Kemba! But for Victor Axelsen, a seventh Super 1000 title. A 14th World Tour title in total.
Bank SPG Indonesia. check to go with the title and the gold medal. Photo session. of the day and it's men's doubles and Choi Sogu and Kim Won Ho from Korea. A new pair up against the new Yu Chen and Wu Xuan Yi of China. Welcome back to Estora Sanayan for finals day at the East Ventures Indonesia Open. One more final to come for you this afternoon and it's two unseeded pairs. In fact, the Chinese pair of Liu Yu Chen and Wu Xuan Yi were promoted from the reserve list Ladies and, gentlemen, and they're the up against Choi Gu and Kim Won-ho of Korea. Please welcome 